All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media. Got a brain up so 40 today. Today's video is kind of cool. I um, pretty much took this customer from beginning to end, called us right on the phone. We went ahead and uh, jumped on a phone call, did a video consult of his area, and then we went ahead and ordered everything. This is a full uh, 7.1.2 SVS system, and the overall result is really incredible. Really want to let you guys know about it. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour, let you know what the customer thinks, do a demo. We're gonna do it all right at the intro. All right, guys, so let's just do a quick little overview of what we did over here. So um, we have the heart of the, the whole system. We have the Denon 4500, terrific amplifier right there. Obviously, a, a nine channels right out of the box. If you guys want to add a second um, stereo amplifier and you're ready to go with full 7.2.4. So right now we're doing a 7.1.2 uh, and then the customer has aspirations to go ahead and expand. But I mean, depending on your, your budget and your aspirations of, you know, just doing this all at once. He didn't have any of this stuff in here. This was kind of an extra room. And then we went ahead and gave him the, the special treatment. So over here, we got the prime pinnacles as our towers. Love those things. You guys know I really enjoy the, the sound that comes out of those. And I consulted with this customer at, uh, at, at great lengths to get him into the right products. And I think that this is a definitely a winning combination. So prime pinnacles, as well as the ultra center. And uh, for you guys that are <laughs> sensitive to reflections, they have them in black ash as well as piano black. So you don't have to worry about that. You guys know I like my piano black. But for our surround solutions, we basically just did the prime elevations all around. So we have our um, surround right, surround right, surround back right, and then our surround back left, and then our sur surround back, or surround left. And then we have our prime elevations hanging from the ceiling. Um, as far as I'm uh, concerned, this was a pretty straightforward installation, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did most of it. So uh, our customer decided to do most of this. He got m most of the uh, easy stuff up, like the speakers that were already pre-wired. He just hung them and just got them, you know, running. And then we had to roll the truck, get our guys out here to do the heavy lifting, get these bad boys up here. So for, you know, if, if you guys want to do this stuff your, your own, I mean, by, by all means, go ahead and try to tackle it. I mean, it's, it's not something that's astronomically hard to understand. But uh, yeah, if you guys have these little plates, and he even painted these plates too. If you guys have these plates in your house, probably you have some pre-wire for some uh, speakers. So just go ahead and look around, pop them out if you want. And if you have some, some speaker wire in there, chances are you're ready to go for your room as well. So if you guys buy a house, check out your house. We have the 4050 back here. This is a terrific projector. We also have the watt box protection right up there. One thing that uh, we were talking about whenever um, I, we were basically consulting for this, this home theater was that if you wanted to go with a 4050 or the 6050, I know you guys like to go with the 6050 very often. It's a very popular projector, but don't sleep on this one, guys. This one is an incredible picture. And unless you guys have them like side by side, I dare you to take the Pepsi challenge and try to figure out which one is which. Um, obviously with the 6050, um, you will get, uh, you know, a couple more things that you won't get with this one, but, uh, this is a great option for a lot of people. And I highly recommend that you guys consider it for, um, your, your, your type of theater applications. We did the dragonfly high contrast and we did the 133 in here, correct? 133. Yeah. So that, that, that's the cool thing with us guys is you guys call us for consulting. We go ahead and walk you through. We talk about your room dimensions. We ask if you have, you know, walls like windows, if you guys have, you know, if, if it's open to the dining room, all kinds of things like that, or even if you have a dedicated space. I'm gonna look at your room dimensions and make sure that you have enough room from lens to the screen itself. And then we're gonna talk about what we can fit in that space. And I think that's a better overall option versus, you know, just calling someone and be like, hey, I want a 110 or I want a 120. Yeah, I thought the biggest I was gonna be able to do was a 120. Yeah. So we talked about it and we, we found that the, the dimensions were able to fit right in here. And also we measured it out so that we would be able to fit the speaker in there as well. So um, definitely recommend that you guys give us a call. Um, we're, we're, we're definitely into the area of consulting as well as fulfilling those home theater needs that you guys have. And I think in this space, I just heard a demo and it is incredible guys. So if you guys are, are gearing up for um, you know the, the, the stay at home orders, Definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and furnish your home theaters. Um, it's, it's, it's a really cool investment. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to my buddy John and he's gonna let you guys know what he thinks about the system. 
So working with uh, Chris and Dream Media, had great exp you know, experience with them. Uh, just spoke with Chris on the phone and we actually did a couple uh, FaceTime calls just so he could see my room and, and you know, gave him the dimensions and, he, you know, told him what my budget was. And, um, you know, I ended up wanting to go with on wall and versus in wall in this room because the builder actually already put um, soundproofing behind the walls and my son's room is, is literally right behind here. So it's right back here. Guys. It's, yeah, it's right back there. So had I put in walls back there, the sound would have bled really badly into there. As it is, even when I have this thing roaring, uh, you can hardly hear this thing back there. So, I mean, I'm, I, I personally never heard of the SVS brand and I'm so glad that Chris talked me into it because it, it's amazing. So, <laughs> uh, highly recommend uh, both the, the, you know, the entire system and Dream Media. Thanks, John. One last thing I forgot to let you guys know about is we got this little, this little bad boy back here. This is the SB3000 and this guy bumps. We just heard that demo going and I can definitely tell you that if you guys have a proper setup, you guys don't need to buy bass shakers. And I was just saying that to, to John over here. Like if you guys have a proper subwoofer, you guys don't need to get those little things that kind of jiggle the couch, like it jiggles the couch, right? To kind of make it seem like you have more bass. If you have more bass, you have more bass. So um, definitely recommend that you guys check those guys out. Again, I think SVS is one of those brands that are like more or less slept on. Not a lot of people know about them. And it's really cool that I got to consult with, uh, with, with my customer here from beginning to end. I mean, calls, texts, I mean, whatever it takes to, to go ahead and get you guys into the best stuff possible. That's what we're going to do. So um, big leap of faith for him to go ahead and jump on SVS because I know we don't do a lot of SVS installs on the channel. And I really appreciate him for allowing us to do that. So besides that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a demo, show you guys what's going on in this space, see uh, what it sounds like, and if it's right up your alley, go ahead and give us a call. So we're going to go ahead and jump on those demos, and I'll go ahead and finish it off with an outro a little later on. Wakabi, the challenge is not complete. What will we do? What a chance! <laughs>
right guys, let me know what you think down in the comments about that demo. I really think that this whole area is just aces. Specifically, the room size is perfect for this specific setup. You guys know I love the Prime Pinnacles as well as the Ultra um, Center. The Ultra Center is easily my favorite center on the market right now. So uh, paired with the Prime Pinnacles, it is just a winning combination. And then to finish out the rest of the room, instead of having things put on bookshelves or, you know, have in walls um, to worry about, you know, sound reverberating through the walls, we have the Prime Elevations. Those gr create a great mounting solution for, um, as well as elevations, surrounds, bookshelf speakers, whatever it is. These things are very, very versatile. But the sound that comes out of them, really incredible. Paired with that uh, nice um, Epson 4050, the image broadcast on this 133 inch screen is just incredible. I mean, I, I, I dare you guys to go ahead and try to find something better in that price point to go ahead and match this one's performance. Low heat, low noise, and in Texas, and in, in the, the, the southern states, it makes all the difference in what, with those little things going from a TV to projector. Besides that, I think that this room is a really, really cool type of setup. Obviously, I'm going to think it's awesome because I had my hand in it from beginning to end. Big shout out to my customer. He's ecstatic about the system. He keeps inviting people over. They're ecstatic about the system. So if you guys want something like this in your house, go ahead and give us a call. Shoot us an email. We'll go ahead and leave our information right down here um, as well as in the description. And we'll go ahead and be happy to help you out. Besides that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Make sure you like. Subscribe down below. As Zach says, smash the subscribe button and we'll catch you next time.